Indie Mogul. This episode of Indie Mogul is brought to you by Friday the 13th in theaters February 13th. Paul Bart Mall Cop is finally dethroned from the number one spot. Yes, it was a David and Goliath weekend as Hollywood made its best effort to counter-program the Super Bowl. Go Steelers! What did it take to slay the box office giant Kevin James? Let's find out with some movie math. It was Liam Neeson who put the hurt on Kevin James. The international sensation Taken took the number one spot and many of my new Facebook friends totally called it. 20th Century Fox opened the French actioner ultra-wide, 3,183 screens, which literally paid off as Taken made $24.6 million. It also had an impressive per-screen average, showing that fans found the movie despite not a lot of publicity for it. And it's pretty impressive to have a 56-year-old and a 78-year-old kicking ass both on screen and at the box office. Although, the winner for best opening during a Super Bowl weekend is still tween sensation Miley Cyrus with her 3D concert from last year. Taken nabs the second best opening. And still holding on at number two is Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Just like the movie itself, Kevin James continues to defy expectations as Mall Cop brought in another 14 million. In three weeks, it's amassed over 83 million and has an excellent shot at becoming the first movie of 2009 to pass the 100 million mark. And as many people are still shaking their heads in disbelief and proclaiming, I refuse to pay $12 to see Paul Blart, Mall Cop, expect to see the movie excel on DVD as those same people can't resist seeing what all the fuss is about. And now for some bad news for Roy Lee. Lee, who specializes in remaking Asian horror films for American audiences, failed to impress with his latest widget, The Uninvited. The movie came in at number three with 10.5 million, performing closer to Mirrors and Shutter rather than The Ring and The Grudge. But this was right on target for Elizabeth Banks as Zack and Mary make a porno, W and Definitely Maybe all opened at around 10 million as well. And since all those movies only went on to make around 30 million at the box office, The Uninvited's prospects look bleak. I asked you to rate the movie on a 1 to 10, and you gave it a 6, one point lower than the rating audiences gave it on Fridays beyond the trailer. And the winner of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge is Waleed Iftikhar 12, who says The Uninvited is a failed counterpart of an original that can't satisfy horror movie fanatics. And runner-up is The Wisest Wizards, who says I love twist endings, but they are becoming so common that the new twist is now no twist. And debuting way down at number 8 is Renee Zellweger with New in Town, bringing in just 6.7 million. Renee, you're dangerously close to becoming a direct-to-video star. And I know you have an Oscar, but these days it can happen to anyone. Just ask John Cusack, Jason Biggs, and Meg Ryan. As for the older movies, many were tackled by the Super Bowl weekend as Underworld, Rise of the Lycans fell 65%, My Bloody Valentine 3D fell 57%, and Notorious fell 70%. Meanwhile, Oscar-nominated movies The Reader and Milk finally went nationwide this weekend, but neither could crack the top ten. What movie did I see this weekend? I'll tell you after the break. Rated R starts Friday, February 13. I saw The Uninvited, and I thought it wasn't bad. Emily Browning, last seen in Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, did a nice job. Apparently, the reason we haven't seen her for five years is that she took a break to finish school, which is commendable. Hopefully, she can pick up where she left off with her career, and I'm sure being a 21-year-old who looks like a tween will help. However, I have to say, if you want to see a really good horror movie right now, you're better off seeing My Bloody Valentine 3D. Speaking of scary movies, as you saw earlier, this episode is sponsored by the upcoming Friday the 13th. And to celebrate the reboot of this horror classic, Indie Mogul has some cool Friday the 13th programming coming up, including a Beyond the Trailer profile of Jason Voorhees, which will air this upcoming weekend. Jason starred in 10 movies since 1980, so if you want to brush up on your Friday the 13th history, be sure to check it out. As always, thanks for watching Movie Math, and I'll see you on Fridays. Beyond the Trailer covers Push, He's Just Not That Into You, and The Pink Panther 2. I'm Grace Randolph, and we just did some Movie Math. Subscribe, comment, rate it.